Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Emmett Muckles with the Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I made a blog post about budget your money invent, budget 101, your money inventory. And that's basically finding out what money you have coming in, that's your income, and what and where it is going, you're outgoing. So basically, we broke it down. We looked at all of our expenses and then we made some columns. So all, and then we made necessary and unnecessary. You'll have to read the blog post, but then we were able to look at what we are paying out each month or periodically to find out where our money is going and what we actually need, you know, like housing, your car, food, clothing, health, things like that versus, um, your subscription subscription to HBO, your second subscription to Netflix, uh, you know, miscellaneous subscriptions, things like that, so that you can figure out where you're bleeding money. And from here, I'm going to show you a quick little tool that you can use if you go to Google. So you can go to docs. Oh, no, not documentary. Google docs Ooh. and look it up. Now, I, I think you really have to have a Gmail address or a Gmail, something like that. So here's what we, what I have done. Actually, I want to go back to Google docs about Google docs about so that you guys can see the basic login page that you need. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now that's a little better. So you can see this beautiful website and you have Google Docs, which you can write documents like Word documents. You have Google Sheets, which you can do spreadsheets on. You can do Google Slides for presentations and you can even make forms for people. Say your church is having a thing, a function, and you need to gather some information from some individuals and we're you know, report it back to you. You can use Google Forms to make these things so that life is a little bit easier. The reason for this, is, uh, the reason I'm telling you this is that because not everybody has access to Microsoft Word. You might have it at work, you might have it at school, but you don't have it on your personal computer, but yet and still you need to manipulate these documents or make new documents. So now you can go to Google Docs and actually I'm going to click on Sheets. Oops, in the right form. And in Google Sheets, you can just go to Google Sheets. Now, I've actually already made a document for a personal budget, and it's available at emmettmuckles.com or the Billionaire Lifestyle LLC. So let me tell you basically how I made this. And I'm going to make a duplicate down here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. This basic area here will be available uh, on the website. And let me know if you'd like a copy of it. It's free. I'll give it to you. So here's what I did. So across the top, I made a column, boom. And then I changed the color on it because I didn't like the color. So I picked this nice green, I think. Nope, that's the word. So I picked a nice green, boop. And then below that, I made a nice area that was available just kind of as a separator. So I gave it some wonky color like that. And then here we had to have the month. So I just put the year in the first column, which is 2017. Boom. And I have to make that color different. So we'll make that black and we'll do that for all these. Boom, do, 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 do. Make the color black. So that was the, the letters that were, will be that color. And then your background is a different color. That's the difference between these two. So from here, oh, and I have to make, redo that. So I'll make all this black so that everyone can see it. So here are type January, J-A-N-U-A-R-Y. And then I type February, E B Airy. February and the reason I only wrote the first two is because I can highlight these two and then I can take this and drag it out and what I will get is the succession of months because it continues it knows it's kind of smart 
So then I basically set down, I skipped a spot, so in case I needed some other title later on, I typed rent, utilities, cable. Oh, I'm so silly. Rent. No, not like that. Cap box is on. I can't spell today. My fingers are working. I'm kind of in an odd angle at my keyboard because of the microphone. Let me just fix this so I can put everything in front of me. Rent, utility, utilities, cable, slash, internets, car loan, credit cards. Now with credit cards, what I, you, you can do two things. You can add a column and put your separate credit cards, or you could just total them all together. For instance, I could come down here and I could say capital done it again. One discover so forth and so on. If I want to break them up, but I'm just going to keep it basically simple. I'm going to combine them all for this purpose. And like I said, you can change this a little bit because I left some extra um, space in there for you to add and change things as well. So food, gas, daycare, if you're still creating babies, I am not done. It's a wrap ball game that inning has passed so then what you can do is this now pay attention because you see down here at the very bottom which is one two three four five six the seventh one one two three four five six seven i could have just used the numbers and then subtract it real quick but i didn't that's just me and that's how players got to be I know don't, don't laugh at me total expense and the difference You're, you'll see what I'm doing so here's what I've done so I put a separator here for total expense and what I basically did was I didn't pick a color I simply chose an outline of the box which is what you see here and then I changed the line uh, the density of the line Yep. No, not color. I need density. Bam. See that? Wop. Eh, got it in there. So that way I can separate what my totals are going to be versus what my expenses are. So forth. So let's populate this real quick. So I know that I had a pure head 975. I had 250. I had 120. I had 650. 110. 500, 130, and 800 for whopping child care. But those are just basic numbers. So now what I have to do is I have to come down here and I have to format and make it currency. And I don't want it rounded. I want full numbers so I can see my pennies coming up through the fray. All right. Got it. Seems like it's really easy. And it truly is. So now I come down to the bottom. And you can do this on your own, but you can also just ask me for it. Now, just like here, do do with it what you will. <clears throat> Boom. Anyway, continuing on with the billionaire lifestyle. I mean, because this is really important. If you don't know where you're spending your money, it will always leave you quickly. So I'm going to do a sum. So I'm going to come up to this sigma sign and I'm going to sum. And then I'm going to drag all the fields that I want to be summed. And the reason why I'm doing this area where it's blank is because someone like me or you may add in another uh, bill or expense later to be tallied into the fray. Once I've done that, I just simply hit enter, which I did on my keyboard, and it tallies everything up. Now, from here, what I can do is I can take this and I can drag it across. And then what it will do, and I also have to make sure that I format them as well boom 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 format bam 
and format these columns as well because you want them to all add up in the same fashion or look very much the same too. So I'm going to come here, like I said, boom, done. Doesn't seem like it, but it is. So let's say I got rid of my garage and now my insurance is 900 bucks. See how that came in, 250, 120, 650. My kids are from outside now. They're running around like hooligans. 500 and 130 and let's say grandma came over so we only spent 20 bucks on daycare so that's where we sit and you see how it tallies everything up so this is the basic stuff that you can do so that you can have your budget started so now that you have the basis of your items done, we need to do a few more things so our total expense what we're going to do is we are going to do a formula and it's really simple to do a formula. You say equal sign. No, I'm sorry. Equal sign. This box. Oh, I forgot something. Let's backtrack. So what we want to do is income. You can't really do a budget without income, right? So we're going to create this box, call it income. Now we can do it. So we can say equal sign this box minus this box. No, I did that total. Did that wrong. So you can see I've changed a few things. Not really a few. I just changed one. I took my, I had total expense here and I made that my monthly income. So let's say, let's just say you do $5,000 of household income per month. Now, see, I forgot to do that here, so I need to change this and format it to a currency. Boop, done. Now that I've done that, what I can do is I can find out how much I'm saving or how much I've spent per month. So what we want to do is make sure that this is in the positive, for instance. So I'll make this formula that says this. <laughs> uh, I forgot how to do the formula. Equals monthly income minus our total expenses, which is I'm clicking on the boxes that represent that, and it gives us that we've we have a surplus of uh, of one thousand four hundred sixty-four dollars. So let's come to this one. Let's say we had a bad month and we only made two thousand dollars. First, what I have to do is I have to copy these formulas and drag them over here. It's not exactly what I want to do. I want to get rid of these actual numbers. And $2,000. And we need to do the same thing here. So I need to make some formulas for each one of these boxes. So let's do it this way. Difference is equals this box minus this box. So what we're going to do here now we can drag. I know I'm a little haphazard with it. See, there we go. So you see here where it says you're negative $2,600 because you haven't made any money. But if you make $2,000, $2,000, $2, you're 670 bucks in the hole. So this is a good th way to find out what's going on in your life. It's a really good measure for you to kind of keep track of your basic flow of money overall. Now I'm going to give this a nice little border, make it a big thick border. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to do the quad. We have that there. You can find this on the billionaire lifestyle podcast. I'm your host, Tim at Muckles. I just want to give you a quick little item for you to do. By the way, this is not my bills. I wish. No, except for the daycare. Uh, that car loan, too. I don't have that. Mm, cable. Inter yeah. Cable bill. Don't have that either. Oh, till next time. Peace. I'm rambling. Just acting crazy. <laughs>